All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to One Game, One Life. My name is Typo, and this is Baldur's Gate 3, part 79. And we are very encumbered. We've explored Rivington for the most part. Yep. And uh, I guess Worms Crossing proper is what comes next. We've done an excellent job of exploring everything I feel like. Except for the post house sign, of course. Because we did have that key for this. Still main is dead. Who is still main? Who is still main? Welcome to Sword Coast Couriers. To send and to serve. Delivery not guaranteed. <laughs> uh, uh. Wait, delivery not guaranteed? Well, we've had to change the policy. Hard to send letters by road when there's a rampage and army of fanatics bearing down on you. I'll tell you, it's left me in a right pickle. I've sent what I can by pigeon, but now something's attacking them and all. Become a postmaster, Danzo. It'll be easy. Nobody mentions having to spend your evenings hunting for pigeon carcasses, do they? They don't. They really don't. Since there's more to his anxiety than a few missing letters. Ooh, good insight. Level with me. What's really going on here? One of the missing letters is my own correspondence. A, a personal matter, nothing <clears> serious. <throat> but you can understand if people think I can't even deliver my own letters, I'd be finished. Hmm. I can track this letter down, but I'll need my expenses paid up front. Here we go. Persuasive. Very persuasive. We might have hit 30 here. There it is! 30 persuasion check! I suppose there's no harm in you taking a look. Here's something to get you started. Bring me the letter, unopened, and you'll get the rest. I can do that. I've I've delivered unopened things in the past. Why use a key if this just... Yeah, we had a key, but it, we were allowed in. So, like, why? Jeffers Morstan. Pigeons are very sensitive. They can't okay. fly straight if they're disturbed. Okay. Good to know, I guess. Okay. Um, so. Where does that lead us? Do we have any idea at all? We probably don't. Shoot. I have no idea where we would find that. Or did we already find it and open it? <laughs> it's in the complete. <laughs> okay. There you go. Spinestrian's body refused to take on his madness, putting a stop to him instead. His spirit will forever remain cursed. Rip. We returned the missing letters to Postmaster Downzo. Did we? Did we do that? I don't think we did that. I think we freaked it out by already having the letters on our person. I don't suppose you've uh, stumbled across those letters yet? Apparently I already gave them to you. Okay. Yeah, I think we already gave them to him when I think it bugged out a little bit. That's all right. If you could just The quest is complete. We have the Duke And we already got paid. For the good of the people. Outraged. Whoa! That's a steel watcher, huh? Dude, this guy looks sick! <laughs> that guy looks awesome! Front page material. Okay, so are we gonna be allowed past this checkpoint is the question. We should have, like, that pass from the one guy. Halt! By orders of Lord Gortash, refugees are no longer allowed in the city. Turn around. I'm not a refugee. Well, do you have the means to support yourself? That's a bribe. I don't need any money to support myself. I live off what I find in nature. <laughs> That's one way to put it. Then you don't need to be in the city. Next. 
Try again. No refugees. It is decreed. Verge of business in the city. Have the means to support yourself. Are you serious? I thought we had a pass for this. Whatever. Right. Article 30.1.5 of the Council's decree on extraordinary wartime measures. I am confiscating that. The city thanks you for your contribution. Your name? <clears throat> You're scamming me. Give me my money back. Oh, take it up with the Duke if you don't like it. Now, your name? Yeah, my name is Bear Rock. Well met, citizen. Your parasite stirs. From the construct, you feel connection, resonance. What? <clears throat> What the hell is that thing? I am a steel watcher, citizen. Here to serve the people of Baldur's Gate in the name of Lord Enver Gortash. That is crazy. State your business. <clears throat> I've been hired by Baldurian nobility for a task requiring discretion. Uh, I come from Baldur's Gate. My home is there somewhere. Hit her with the rogue deception here. Oh yeah, she'll believe that. No guidance needed. There you have it. Uh huh. Eyes open, body still. Eyes open, body still. Why? The watcher will communicate with our new intelligence directorate. They'll determine if you're a threat to the city. Upstanding citizens have no reason to fear. And you are an upstanding citizen, aren't you? Uh, for now. Find the Watcher's gaze a presence awakens. You are seen. You are known. Whoa. My engine, it's almost... I don't know. Buzzing. Like it's paying attention. This is infernal, maybe? Your party's prior transgressions are reflected in its stare. As witnessed by the cult's ever alert, scrying eyes. It has heard the howls of slaughtered goblins. It has seen the deep shadows of Grimforge. And the stone floors left bloodied. Oh, good. The cold walls of Moonrise Towers. And the cultists who fell there. The Watcher speaks directly into your mind with a voice like poisoned honey. Are we you doing this? Are marked for special treatment. Not simply an enemy of the people, but an enemy of the absolute. Come quietly. Or die. Yeah, I'm not coming quietly. Please comply now, citizen. Oh. I will interpret they all disapprove, really? As resistance. Really? Eat this, you pile of junk! Alright, it's about functioning. Go. Really? So the Steel Watchers are looking for us, is what you're saying. Why did you all disagree with that? I'm not I'm not consenting to arrest. There's no shot. What is wrong with all of you guys? Oh, there's a little sliver of green here. We're messing up with Shadowheart. Still very good with the star and still exceptional with Carlac. Damn, really though. That seems odd to me. Flaming fist people, okay. Cool, 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 cool. Rustic chest. Mmm. <laughs> Thanks, friend. <laughs> That's funny. I love sarcasm. It's beautiful. A sigil! That's what we're talking about. Awesome. We love it. So the Steel Watchers work for the Absolute. That's good information. Uh, dude, I would not... Y'all, I would not stand there. A mischievous kid could push you off the ledge. That just doesn't feel smart. Like, at all. So this is Worms Crossing proper, huh? What are we looking at here? And there's the gate, I'm assuming, to get into the city itself. Uh, 
Oh, come on, please. We're so close now. We're right there. I'm pulling all nighters to keep watch. I know you have. I don't mind it, honestly. Yeah, okay. I'll believe that when I see it. Yeah, get you a real room. Yeah, don't work all nighters, please. Just junk here, okay? Okay, yeah, they're, they're saying you can't open that door. There's a sigil on it. Gotcha. Well, let's go in here then. This is the Fragos Flop House. Oh, this is. It's got private rooms. This was the fire. This was the firehouse. The fireworks place. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, yep. Yeah, and people ready to fight. Deliria, Pale Petrus. Pale Petrus might even be one of Asterian's people. Maybe. Could be. Could be. Adventurer Drim and Adventurer Rosanna. Oh, which would make sense that Pale Petrus? Oh, I think I'm onto something here. Come to Baldur's Gate, he said. Adventurers get welcomed as heroes, he said. Oxy Drim and his bleeding notions. <laughs> Level five adventurers, though, that's not bad. Bloody ages we spent hiking from Murren, and they won't let us in the city proper. Bollocks. We're adventurous, damn it. We're adventurous, damn it. Adventure means nothing here anymore. No respect. You're damn right. I can't believe they wouldn't let us in. Starting to bruise. Oh, God, some shite about a coronation. Couldn't really make head nor tail of it. Traveler Griska. Do we know that person or no? Word to the wise. Give that ill mate to Temple a wide berth. Rude buggers. Certainly not bringing my trade there again. Okay. To be fair, their high priest just died. What's your trade? Let me show you. Oh. <laughs> okay, sure. I love getting money from people. Absolutely. Here you go. I got you covered, lady. Amulet of the Harpers, Uncovered Mysteries, Absolute's Protector. There's a... No, we don't need that. Not compared to the other stuff. Nope. Alright, we sell that. We sell... Anything else? Crawler Mucus. Become Paralyzed or Poison. That is nice. Some more dies. Saluna's Dream. I mean, it's still nice. I still want to hold on. Reverse Rain Cloak we can get rid of. Thanks. We have so much random junk. It's insane. Look at all this stuff on us. And we're actually keeping all of it. Isn't that wild how much stuff we're keeping on Bear Rock? This poor guy. Yeah, I'm, I'm keeping all of this. Just about. Shadowheart? They can't afford that at all. Side up ward armor, that's for Lazelle. Okay, Astarian. Hanging on to Wolverine's hammer. Cold brim hat. Yep. Okay. We don't need guidance pendants, but I'll hold on to it since it's only 0.05 pounds. We don't need that. Red dye. That could be good on Carlax armor. We don't need penumbral armor. Nope. Go ahead and sell it. We don't need the Blazing Retaliation, pretty sure. We have two shields that were both resisting fire. That's a bonus action, though. That is pretty good. We don't need the Ring of Twilight. I've been holding on to it for a while. We don't need it. Neither, we don't need Ring of Exalted Marrow, either. We're never If we're never going to use it, we might as well sell it. We should know better than to hold on to things we're not going to use. It's been a long, We've been playing this game a long time now. Woglims. Um, by the way, very suspicious I would hand her these, I think, in this location specifically. But, alright. Anything worth six gold. There we go. And there you go, the rest of her money. 49,000 gold. Pleasure doing business. Almost up to 100,000. Dash Kent Muller, Flophouse Custodian. So, good. So, give me three days and... Oh, I 
Apologies. I thought you were someone else. Uh, greetings, so forth, so on. He's in debt bad. A dwarf dressed in red just like you. Oh, shit. How dare you? Accusing an upstanding citizen like me? Uh-huh. Being a dwarf? I'm a halfling, you oaf. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, that's my bad. Are you sure? Yeah, my bad. <laughs> Who'd you think I was looking for? It is you. Most definitely not anyone else. The salutations and hello and whatnot. And whatnot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's not a dwarf. I don't know why I said that. I'm definitely me. We're expecting someone else. Lord, Sir Frego Antuna. A most generous soul, I assure you. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think that's right. Quilia Arbus. Okay. Well, let's head up here, I guess. See, that guy's wearing the same clothes the Starion was wearing at the start of the game, and he says pale. You know what I mean? That's got me. That's got me thinking he's relevant here. Beyond's chest. Dashkent's chest. Okay. Quilia's chest. Alright, alright, alright. Let's see what's going on with Pale Petrus here. The Master, Deliria and Pale Petrus. We should go. I do not want to face the master if we're late for his black mass. Soon, sister. I only need one more mark. It's uh, <laughs> these are definitely with with Casador. What are these eyes it's though? For the master, it's for me. I spent 100 years eating rats and dogs, but soon I'll be able to feast. I want someone there ready for me. And once the mass is done and our lord grants us freedom, I can celebrate by drinking them dry. Casador promised you your freedom. And you believed him. Ha! You were never burdened with intelligence, Petras. But your load seems especially light these days. <laughs> Astarian? It... It cannot be. Oh, that's no way to welcome back a brother, doll. Didn't you miss me? Why would you come back? You got out. You were free. I'm gonna let him talk. I'm gonna let him talk. Isn't it obvious, sister? He wants to ascend with the rest of us. He heard about the ritual and the power our master will grant us. So he came back with his tail between his legs, hoping all would be forgiven. <sighs> you always were an idiot, Petras. What are we doing here? Where is he hiding? Damn, holding him in the sun. Brother, please. Asterian, stop, talk or burn, your choice. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna just gonna let him do his thing. Tell me what I need to know. Or I swear you'll burn. The master is preparing the black mass beneath his palace. There's a defiled chapel. It was hidden there the entire time, hidden from us all. <sighs> I'm going to stop Casador. What the hell's happened to you, Astarian? What are you? Yeah, he just stood in the sun. I'm more than what I was. And I'm not afraid of anything anymore. The sun can't harm me. Casador can't compel me. I'm the only person who can stop him. Now go, before I change my mind about roasting you, brother. This isn't over, Astarian. Well, the Casador knows we're coming now. How many people have teleport spells? They actually think Casador will save them. Yeah, but he won't. They'll warn him we're coming. Yes, and they'll be trembling in fear when they tell him. They're no threat to us. And they have no choice but to do Casador's bidding. I 
pity them. Worst of all, they all don't right. know their fate's already set. <laughs> They're doomed. The only question is whether their lives will be sacrificed to a monster like Cazador or serve a greater purpose. True, because he's trying to ascend. Seven sigils on seven <clears throat> And Cazador has the other six. We have to face him and take that power for ourselves. Hey, I'm, I'm with you, man. I'm here to help. You ready to sacrifice them? Why not stay away? You can't find this ritual if we can't find you for ourselves for yourself, you mean. Sometimes you scare me more than the other one does. So let's do it. <laughs> so let's do it. I knew I could count on you. We share that killer instinct. Hell yeah, Starion. And I know that Cazador's skulking somewhere beneath the palace. It'll be infinitely easier to track him down. <laughs> I love this guy. Right. Starion's great. This place stinks of rat blood and despair. Easily one of the best companions I've seen in an RPG. It's fantastic. Um, anything here that I would care about? No, that's the bathroom. I'll have to give that a hard pass. Okay. Ooh, there's a ladder. It goes up. Fair enough. Griska's chest, okay. Got a wardrobe here. That is obviously hiding a secret room <laughs> because there's no other way into that room. Oh. I mean, not really. You can't really get there. Um. That shapeshifter's key unlocked the door. Interesting. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Bloodstained note? Okay. Blood near the bed. Blood near the bed. Notice some blood has pooled on the wooden floor. Okay. Try to turn the source of the blood. We're about to find a body here. Oh boy. We're not good at this. Nice. Nailed it. You notice the blood source. A body hidden under the bed. Called it. Fion Gold Grind. It's Frego's Flop House. Interesting. Two hands. Now two hands. Two of them. More needed. Not enough. Must cover myself in glory to be covered in blood more. That's really healthy and fun. What the hell was that? Oh my goodness. Scroll of Telekinesis. Scroll of Auto's Irresistible Dance. Phantasmal Killer. I'm gonna let Shadowheart pick all that up. That's a hell of a bookcase right there. Damn. Temple plans. Mirror image. Bloodstained parchment. Another traveler's chest. Ooh, purple worm toxin. Additional 1d10 toxin. Poison damage. That's it? You would think it would do so much more than that. Disappointing, to be honest. Father Logan's name is written here too. Emphasis on was. A sheep butchered with creative zeal. Nice painting. Or nice picture, guys. Can't click on things. What? What is happening? I can't click on anything. Uh oh. There it goes. I was actually just like frozen. Scarlet leather armor. Worth selling. The rest can stay. Alright, Shadowheart, you're in the way. There you go. Bloodstained parchment. Messy splatters of deep red brown adorn the scrap of parchments. Those wishing to face the Dreadlord's Tribunal and enter the Temple of Baal must slay the targets on this list and frame the corpses as a murder by the Cult of the Absolutes. Bring the victim's hand as proof of the killing. Walk in blood aspirants. Duke Belin, Stelmain, Elfsong Tavern, Lower City. Father Lorgan, Open Hand Temple, Rivington, killed. Dribbles the Clown, Circus of the Last Days, Rivington, killed. Alexander Rainforest, Office near the County House, Lower City, killed. Frank Pe Pear Tree, Abode near Filger's Fireworks, Lower City, killed. Cora Highbury, Large Home near Baldur's Mouth Gazette, Lower City. 
Figaro Penny Good Face Makers Face Makers What the Face Makers Fashion Lower City Elf Song Tavern Kitchen Lower City Chef Revere Nesha Alicia Blushing Maid Lower City Very Vantampur Vantampur Villa Upper City Frederick Hewn Hewn House Upper City So if we killed those people I, want, I wonder I wonder if that would get us in at all Okay Yeah Impress the Murder <laughs> Tribunal Solve the open hand temple murders. Report your findings to investigator Valeria. Uh, we found a lair of the boss murder in Frego's flop house. Uh, target list in the lair details the killer's instructions. Frame the absolute for a series of murders. Father Logan's name appears on the list. We should investigate. Should show investigator Valeria. A group of deep nose attacked us. Steel watcher went and scanned us, saving us. They fled. We should follow them. <laughs> okay. Investigate the murders. Father Logan's name appears on the target list. We found. Uh, we should show investigator Valeria. If we kill two targets from this list and bring a severed hand as proof, we can stand before the murder tribunal and enter the temp Temple of Ball. Okay. Kill to gain access to Ball's murder tribunal. I wish we had gotten the other people's hands before, but okay. Target list. New recruits are being asked to stage murders. is absolute butchery. We should investigate a successful recruits to gain access to Temple of Ball where Orin waits. Alright, let's kill two people from the list. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. <laughs> don't, don't doubt me for a second. I'm going in. And I might as well steal from that. Why not? Worth it. Okay. Let's go down. Like a hidden bedroom in the, like, attic there. Worker Bernier. Trying to get down here, but I can't see there. There you go. Um, I guess that's all there is here. We're not staying in a brothel. Wait. Stress's Crest is a brothel? Poor findings of Investigator Valeria. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Why, is, why are you asking like that just happened? What is this? Stress. Oh, gotcha. Stress's Caress is a brothel. Got it. Well, that's not what I expected. I'm going to be straight with you. So, Frego's flop house is there. Solve the open hand temple murders. Investigate stresses caress. Find Voss. Find Voss. Yeah, yeah. All right, we might want to bring um, Lazelle for this bit because aren't we supposed to have Voss here and all that? Okay. Uh, let's go to camp real quick and grab Lazelle. Or I guess we could do it without her, but no, it makes more sense to bring her since it's her quest. Alright, we'll leave Carlac, because Carlac and Lazelle kinda feel the, kinda fit the same role. That better not ruin her elixir though. What just happened? Copper for your Letter thoughts. from Arabella. Ah, oh, come on. You don't mean oh. Okay, good. Um Letter from Arabella. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Arabella. Think is still fresh and letters drawn with a careful hand. Here, hey you, so I owe you a lot. For one, I don't know what the inside of a snake's belly looks like. For another, you let me stay at your camp. And for another, another, you find out what happened to moms and pops. I'm on my own now, and Bone Man says it's a good thing. I just have to let the weave guide me. And as far as I can tell, it's tugging me to Baldur's Gate, so I'm headed there first. Anyway, thanks for everything. I won't forget it. Oh, we'll see her again. Yeah, we may yet see her again. Gather your allies. Arabella's back from learning how to control her powers. We can trust that her magic will be there to help us when we need it most. Whoa. Whoa. Volo! My man headed out. To whomever happens upon this note first. Regretfully, a, master of cr a matter of critical import requiring my immediate attention has arisen. Not that your various misadventures are unimportant per se, but well. Regardless, the matter is far too sensitive to be committed to parchment here, so I shall regale you to, uh, to, of it when we meet again in Baldur's Gate. Cordially yours, Balathamp Gadarm. It's going to take us a hundred hours just to get to Baldur's Gate. Like, Baldur's Gate proper. Like, <laughs> like for real. This is our new camp. Okay. The camp ends there. There's Lazel. Let's talk to Will because he has an exclamation point. See what's going on. Men, women, children, all barred from entry. A damn travesty. A decade ago, Baldur's Gate would have welcomed any and everyone seeking refuge. 
Who would take in these souls, if not the Jewel of Baldurin? Baldur's Gate was a safe refuge when I left it. This must be Gortash's doing. As long as Gortash is in charge, they'll be left shivering at Gortash. the gates. All part of the plan, of course. Step one. Create an army and order it to march on the city. Step two. Shut the gates in the name of security. Step three. <clears throat> bask in the applause. Gortash hasn't made Baldur's Gate safe. He's made it a prison. And when his army breaks through, the people will have nowhere to run. Right. To make this city a safe haven, we'll need to bathe Gortash and his allies in their own blood. I love how everything is culminating into Baldur's Gate here. I can't wait to get into the city. Uh, it seems Grand Dukes, but I'm just glad that the sun is out and that Rivington looks nice. Because like I said, those Shadowlands were breaking me down here. What do you think of the Illithid potential? Blah, 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 blah. It seems Grand Duke Stelmane's been murdered. Did you know her at all? I met her twice. The first time, I was a boy of seven or eight at a banquet in the Flaming Fist's honor. One look and I was smitten. Chestnut <laughs> hair that flowed behind her like willow fronds as she floated from one room to the next as if carried by clouds. The second time, Stelmane was different. Even with the aid of a cane. Each step she took was a struggle. Every word she spoke took great physical effort. A stroke victim? I asked father later. No, he said. A stroke survivor. You sense uncertainty in Will's voice. Huh. He questions his father's explanation. Right. Since there's something more to this story. A seven would do it. That'll do it. I love our increased persuasion from our Illithid powers. Becoming half Mind Flayer has been a great decision so far. Something's always gnawed at me. At the banquet, Stelmane didn't seem to look at us, but through us. But that second time, her gaze never left me. It was steel, sharp and unyielding. It could just be my imagination, but... I always felt that it was more than a stroke that had changed her. What, though? I couldn't say. Right. Any idea who could be behind the killing? Gortash, I, I, would, I would assume. But think about this. My father was Tadpole. Stelmane is dead. The people are frightened and the council's in disarray. To exert control, you must first sow chaos. A tyrant strategy, as father would say. These murders aren't random acts. Someone powerful is guiding the killer's hand, and the city is made weaker for it. Yeah, it's Gortash. It's gotta be. Either that or Orin, I guess. Anybody else got an exclamation point? No? We're good? My man withers. We got like a chicken coop here. What the hell? <laughs> what is this camp? Yeah, we got like chicken coops and stuff. Got like a stable even. Why? I guess. I kind of want to explore it just a little bit. Gail, everything's good. Okay, yeah, that's as far as that side of the map goes. It's a small, small camp, but it's plenty for what we need. Inconceivable that we would seek release from one tadpole only for you to commune with another. I chide you if my mind were not consumed by the sight of Orpheus within his domed prison. The prince of the comet lives. Yeah, but she's huge on this. Mistake. I can see the change in you. Feel the parasite worming its way through you even further. Yeah. You have invited your own misery. I will not break our alliance for it, but I will not condone it. That's fair. So, listen, I had a thought, right? While I was laying in bed last night, I had this thought, and I gotta share it. Our character was apparently like a pet to some people. It was Bloodkin to Orin, and it was just a savage beast who would basically use its own large intestines to try to strangle somebody, right? Just completely oblithering, idiotic beast. 
and then we have quote unquote no memories, but we have all this personality, intelligence. We're not just that beast. I was thinking, and this might not hold any water at all, but I was thinking that maybe the Mind Flayer Parasite repaired our brain somewhat so that it could survive in our head. Because when it first got there, it was like, <laughs> basically, it was such a mess that it had to do some reparations to make it happen. And it's possible that we already were kind of half Mind Flayer, half person, because the Mind Flayer Parasite had to pick up our brain a bit. But I don't know, just a thought. Join me. Done. I got new armor for you. Ooh, she leveled up. Two, true. I crave blood. Level 10. That'll be another feat for her, I believe. It's not. Okay. Okay. Superior dice increased to, two, increased to 10. We get two more of these. Possibly frighten. Pushing attack could be good. No. Disarming attack, drop the weapon they're holding could be really good. Maneuvering. Selective turn of the creature will gain half of its movement speed. Let's do a pushing attack, could be very useful. Alright, yeah, let's do that. And let's give her her new armor. She still has the base armor from the start of the game. Wolf. Psionic Ward armor. There you go. Now she's got some real stuff. Any rings? Advantage on insight. We're wearing movement speed and... Saving throw against charmed. Advantage on insight would be really good for us. So I'll give her that instead. And then Bear Rock can wear the advantage on insight rolls. Because he's our dialogue guy. So he's the guy we want insight on more than anybody. <clears throat> Alright. Sounds good, sounds good. She's going to be with us for a little bit. Let's go ahead and leave camp. And the Shares's Caress. I love that. <laughs> Pay compliments. I make observations. Mamzella Mira. I I guess I could have assumed it was a brothel based on its name. I just didn't think we'd go there. A weary traveler, and bruised. You come for sustenance, no decadence. A mien cool as ice, yet eyes burning hot. Oh, yes, I know your bliss. A sturdy dwarf, a leather whip, she gives, you receive. <laughs> have I misjudged you? You have. You have. Spot on. Sounds delightful. <laughs> um, my soul desires to dominate the world over and leave it trembling beneath my feet. Yeah, let's not say that to the Shares Caress lady. Um, not my first choice, but I wouldn't say no. Can we not talk about this? Sweeting, are you blushing? There is no, uh, shame no. In pleasure, even less when the pleasure is pain. It's Fion you seek, our stern life. Fion's dead. She isn't here today, alas. Your penance must wait. Well, we Did I loot Fion? Fill your void. A drink uh -oh. for one, a pair of drow for another. Choose your sin. <laughs> uh Uh Sir Librarian of yours be back tomorrow. You have drow escorts on hand that does sound tempting. Are there other options for companionship? In the flop house lies a fresh killed corpse, a lady dwarf. Could that be Fion? <laughs> By the mother of cats, I pray she didn't suffer. I'll miss that face 
Elves, the regulars will miss her more. They swarmed her like honeybees at the hive. Oh. Losing Fion slashed a big hole in my coin purse. I should get to replacing her. <laughs> I feel like she half cares about emotionally and for... I'm all for lining my coin purse, but even I'd say that's moving on a bit quick. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Sure you can spare a reward for this information. Sweeting. This is Baldur's Gate. I've seen more murders than a butcher's right eye. There'll be time for tears. Cruel as it is, I must turn my mind to business. Or, more precisely, the lack of it. I like her hair. Why didn't we have that hair option in character customization? Or did we and I didn't see it? I have little coin, but I offer sin in abundance. Sin in abundance. Twins in the tap room. They're legends among the regulars, almost myths. Tell them they will gift from the mamzelle and let them show you why. Anything else on your mind, sweeting? Okay, so we have all. Okay. Interesting. Shadowheart's not gonna love that. Did I loot Fion? Oh shit. I'm gonna have to go all the way back up there because I can't like elevate the damn. I can't get. I can't. Damn it. Um, oh man, I do want to get in here this way, locked, okay, whatever, we'll just unlock it, it'll be fine, it's not keeping us out, that's for sure, okay, and that's somewhere we're allowed to be, so as long as they don't see us coming in through the door, it should be fine, I would think, okay, I can't believe I gotta go all the way back inside just to see if I looted this woman. I could easily have seen us forgetting. I never looted the woman. And I could ask her what happened. Fion's key. Oh my god, why didn't I do that while I was here? Identical to the one held by that corpse in the tunnels. Okay. Speak with the dead. All right, Fion. The corpse Rip. regards you lifelessly. How did you die? By my son. Oh shit, that's big info. Your Charming. son. She mustn't have nursed him enough as a child, or too much. Who is your son? Delore, okay. And it makes sense, we're looking for a dwarf. What does your son look like? Where can I find your son? The corpse remains silent. It does not know. That's fair. Um We know who you are. We know what the, okay. What were you doing when you died? Why did your son kill you? Found his secret. My sweet boy. That he's a murderer? What was your son's secret? Folk. Slowly. He liked it. <clears throat> the spell's power yep. wanes. You can ask no more questions. Well, we have our info. God, we look so evil. It's insane. <laughs> I love it. We found the lair of a boss murderer in Fragos. Okay, Father Organs appears on the list. Uh... Starion met two of his fellow vampires spawned, Deliria and Petrus, at Frego's flop house. We learned Casador plans to perform a ritual that will grant him incredible power, and that Asterion is part of it. The reveal is taking place in the defiled chapel beneath Casador's palace before turning the mist and disappearing. Okay, I know who the murderer is. I got the information. I don't know why we didn't loot her earlier. Absolute imbecile move on my part. Robert and Silt. <laughs> rubber and silt sounds like rubber and silt, but okay. Art trader, hey! I really love how everything's coming to a head, man. I am pumped. Look how close we are. Look how close we are! Mm -hmm. 
have answers about these gay tadpoles. Easy, Lazel. We need answers, yes. You catch more flies with honey than vinegar. You did not just say that! It doesn't translate. I don't know if Git Yankee had honey or vinegar. She did not just say what Brecca said. Show some restraint. I'm capable of restraint, just as you're capable of raw fury. I don't mind it. I trust we'll Honestly. find reason to exercise both here. Which means we're getting a real... More flies than honey in a vat of vinegar. <laughs> oh no, the Rivinity Original Sin 2, what have you done? You look like someone whose soul needs feeding. Care to buy some art? I, I mentioned that line like three episodes ago, that's tough. Boreal Blue Dye. Ooh. It's a lot of dyes. Could make stuff really cool looking. Black and azure. Ooh. Black and anything usually looks pretty good, to be honest. I'll buy one. For ten gold. That's such a steal. We love it. Um. Man, see, the toxin's not even good. It's not even good. To the best of wives and mothers. To Fion, best of wives and mothers. Yeah. Rip. Bloodstained note. Ship with creative zeal. <clears throat> Back to Astarian offloading things. Alright, Astarian, you're up. Get rid of the slow... Get rid of the cast with dead. See, invisibility could have its uses sometimes, so we'll hold on to that, I guess. Very good. I don't think we'll ever need this temporary life stuff. Sorry. I held on to him for so long, but I just... I don't see it. I don't see it. Don't need a disguise kit. A cup of oil. Alright. Nice. And then he's got just a little bit left, and Carlax not here to sell it. That's great. That's excellent. Love that. Is there anything else we can do to get, get his money off? Oh, yeah. The Katanki half plate. Nice. All right. I don't think we need to keep these tomes for her. We'll sell them. We hold on to him for a while. She doesn't care about Shara anymore anyway. Selenite symbol the moon. She probably doesn't want that idol anymore, either. Uh, maybe we could give her the new idol? Alright, I'm gonna sell her chain shirt, finally. Because this is Shara stuff, and she doesn't like Shara stuff anymore. I'm sure we could find 47 gold here to get rid of. Like these. Two of these would do it. Nope. Two more of these would do it. There we go. Voila! Come again. Uh huh. Sure, sure, sure. Oh, sorry. Ignore that. Oh boy. My bad. My bad. My bad. I really hope that's the last time we hear from it. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to close Discord out. I'm sorry. I'll be right back. All right. Welcome back. Okay. All right. Here we are. I mean, to try. Hoots Hooligan. Who? Now, <coughs> Sorry. That there's a face I'd remember if I'd seen it. Welcome to Charesse's Caress. What can Hoots do for you, stranger? You got a taste for ale, I reckon. Or maybe... Ah, forget it. My new brew could drop you in the wink of a spectator's eye. <clears throat> Look, we both know how this works. Rumors, jobs, anything. I want the details. Oh, you're one of those types. Rude as you are sneaky. My business is slinging tankards, not hoarding secrets. I'd like to keep it that way. All right. But you poke some folk hard enough, they're bound to squeal. And Mamzella Myra there looks about ready to burst. Okay, okay. 
Sounds potent. I'll give that a try. What's the story of this place? Caress, caress. The Mamsil's brainchild. Wet your tongue, soak your skin, scratch your itch. Get the attention you want and avoid the attention you don't. <laughs> okay. Nice little sales pitch there. Not used to seeing Lazelle in the background. Show me what you got. You got it. But the new hooch is off limits. Can't have the mams all leaping down my throat if I go burning yours. Right, right. That's what you you did say that, and she's got no money, so just kidding. Pleasure to serve. The new brew sounds potent, I'll give that a try. Don't know about that, chum. Hoots hooch packs a stronger wallop than all ten of my knuckles. <laughs> Could beef you up. Sharpen your tongue, or knock you out cold. No telling till the first drop hits your gullet. I'll take my chances on the hooch. Yeah. The man knows what he wants. If it's a con save, we got that. On the house. So, don't come bawling to me if your big toes fall off or your tongue coils in a knot. Uh-huh. Hoots hooch. Uh, sort by type again. We're losing stuff. Hoots Hooch. Where was that? Here it is. A new invention of the Shrest's Crest bartender Hoots. Like being, like being decked in the sobriety. It's a hundred gold? What kind of Hooch are we talking about here? It's not messing around. Nim Orlith and Sorn Orlith. Yeah, but one of them is a dude. Kind of puts me off, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I know for some people that'd be like, oh man, one of both, hell yeah. But that's uh, not me, sorry. I'm boring like that. Hey, Valeria. Another case closed, another bottle open. Huzzah to Valeria! <laughs> Hang on a dick. I recognize that face. You were talking to Yanis after I left the temple. I bet she's put you up to something. Actually... Afraid so, I found new evidence, Investigator. Why must you busybodies insist on interrupting a perfectly good night? <sighs> I know that look. You remind me of Develop. Fine. If you doubt my conclusions, out with it. What have you found? All right. Let me just tell you what's going on here. Who's the Bella? Yeah. Give me that first. My assistant. I have so much information. City investigating Duke Stelmane's murder. Now back to it. What have you found? All right. I spoke to Brogor's spirit, a red-clad dwarf killed them both. That doesn't make sense. Why would this dwarf kill Father Lorgan? I need something more than vague allegations. Don't worry, I got more. Compelling, hard, tangible evidence, and nothing less. <clears throat> Father Lorgan's murder is just one part of a bigger plot, a ball plot. A ball plot? You as well. Devella's been harping on about Baal for months. Fancies herself something of an expert. Ooh, fun. I assumed it was just a bunch of conspiracy cods wallop and fear mongering. But she's been unusually insistent about this one, even for her. Oh, fine. I'll bite. What's your theory? All right, tell her about the murder target list you found. Yeah. Constable Devella is going to be a real pain in the trunk about this. <laughs> Since you seem to be on an obnoxiously similar wavelength, why don't you seek her... The Elf Song Tavern! She'll be at the Elf Song Tavern. Show her the list. And I'll stay and inform the fist here. Good. Oh, and you'll need this pass. It'll give you access to the lower city. <laughs> Look at him go. What are you waiting for? 
You've a bloody conspiracy to solve. Move. <laughs> All right, we're doing it. We're doing it. That's our second lower city pass, by the way. Talk to Gauntlet, Gauntlet Devella in the Elf Song Tavern. Investigator Valeria is now convinced Father Logan's murder is linked to a wider plot and is asked to bring the news to her constable Gauntlet Devella in the Lower City's Elf Song Tavern. Dude, the Elf Song Tavern is famous in D&D. I've literally DM'd people being in the Elf Song Tavern. Man. Journey to the House of Grief. We found a Sharon lookout called. Yeah, he revealed the cloisters hidden in the House of Grief, Lower City. Yeah, yeah. Oh boy, this is gonna be a lot of stuff, I can already tell. Okay, there's a bunch going on here, and I'm not seeing... Whoops. My bad. And where is this headed, exactly? There's so many just citizens about. I love how, like, alive the place is. What the hell is this? Hakeem. <laughs> Sorry, there's someone in my life with that name. Okay, let's lockpick this then, I guess. Real quick, knock out a casual 32. Oh boy. Um, alright, got it. So this is some kind of pleasure... ...area. Um... Are we allowed in here, or are we going to get in trouble? Nymph's Grotto. Oh boy. Don't do anything I can't put on the internet. Tell me. Am I beautiful? <coughs> no. <coughs> you are the aurora stretched across the north sky. You are the golden dunes swept across the Kalim. You are the fruit of the forbidden palm. Soft on my skin, sweet on my tongue. You are my sin. So she's a wood elf, that's why it's all naturey. And salvation. Sorry, I'll leave. <laughs> Your parasite stirs, and you gaze at the nymph through the flaming fist's hungry eyes. Your muscles shiver with her longing. Your skin burns with her heat. She's got a parasite. What's wrong, Jara? What are you? Wait. I know you. <laughs> This looks personal, I should leave. By all means, get your face. The absolute has shown me. Jones She's bleeding out her nose. Who's this man? Your head screams in agony. She went mind flare on us. Damn, you dodged a bullet here. What's She's going full mind flare. Ugh, gross. <laughs> Put some clothes on. All right, so this Jara is uh nine hells. That's not good. Yeah, I'd argue that's correct. Not good is a way to put it. But I think she's gonna die immediately, so. Two swings and she's dead. No way, you missed the reckless attack? Come on. Alright, fine, he's got it. Crit, that's dead. Yeah, sorry we interrupted, um, but I kinda saved you from experiencing whatever you're gonna experience with that, so... You're welcome. Hells. I'd heard tales of mind flayers. Talons sharp as daggers and tentacles yet more fearsome. 
But no tail did justice to its ethereal beauty. It floats like a butterfly. Stings like a bee. Blood shimmers like silver. Wow, she is just all in on the beauty, isn't she? <clears throat> Your client is dead. I thought you'd be more upset. Who? Oh, yes. Jara. I will miss her coin, it's true. Yeah, you were just no getting paid to be her partner, right? Free your mind of her. Let us look forward, never back. Her gaze and okay. Your breath quickens and your heart skips a beat. Uh, the woman's senses are heightened and her fire stoked. The mind flare is no mere curiosity, but an object of desire. <laughs> that creature aroused you, didn't it? Why should I deny it? My urge is as natural as the grape upon the vine. Uh huh. But perhaps there are other flavors that might satisfy my palate. You can just give me a few coins instead. <laughs> I offer something rarer than coins. Yeah, I'll pass. Rapture. Close your eyes. Yo, Shadowheart is right here. No matter how much of a villain we are, we're not also this dumb. I think I'll excuse myself. The gods themselves cannot grant you my unimaginable bliss. Refuse it once, and you will be left forever wanting. Then a part of you remains forever empty, yet keenly felt. An ultimate unknowing beyond your grasp. Uh huh, sure it does. At least take these. May you have at least some comfort in bitter times. Uh huh. I won't forget you, and you won't forget me. Who are you? I literally don't know your name. Level three spell slot. Hell yeah! I actually don't know her name. Nauis Nalinto. Sure. She seemed very sure of herself that I would care. Don't worry, Shadowheart. I'm. <laughs> I wouldn't. I, at the very least, you could be assured I won't do it when you're literally right next to me. A lot of locked doors up here. Oh shoot, I'm out of time, aren't I? Oh no! Oh no! Damn it! All right, fine. Hello? What is all this then? And it keeps going. The elevation! Oh my god! This is so sick. All right. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider giving a like. If you really enjoyed it, consider subscribing. This is Elminster's library. Most loudly in the library at all times. Is this Elminster's? What? I should bring Gale here, maybe. But yeah, thank you again so much. And we'll see all of you for more Baldur's Gate 3. Let's go back to the Stress's Crest for now, and then we'll keep exploring later. Yeah, we got people here we're supposed to already be talking to. I'll see you all next time. I'm sorry. This game just it keeps reeling me back in.